No man can fully grasp how far and how fast we have come. But condense, if you will, man's recorded history. Only five years ago, man had learned to use a cart with wheels. Less than two months ago, the steam engine. Newton explored the meaning of gravity. Last month, electric light, telephone, automobile, and airplanes became available. And now, if America's new spacecraft succeeds, we will have literally reached the stars before midnight tonight. Space can be explored and mastered without feeding the fires of war, without repeating the mistakes that man has made in extending his writ around this globe of ours. We have vowed that we shall not see space filled with weapons of mass destruction, but with instruments of knowledge and understanding. And therefore, as we set sail, we ask God's blessing on the most hazardous and dangerous and greatest adventure on which man has ever embarked. On one of the spacewalks, I really got a feel for that orbital perspective. I was struck by a sobering contradiction. On the one hand, I saw this incredibly beautiful, fragile oasis, the Earth. On the other, I was faced with the unfortunate realities of life on our planet for many of its inhabitants. If everyone on the planet could go get that perspective, life would be different on the planet.